Hi, this is Frank McLaughlin of McLaughlin Lofts. I'm going to talk a little bit about what I've witnessed with inbreeding. Uh, my closest inbred family are the Stefan Reed pigeons. I would say for the last seven, eight, ten years, I probably get 65 to 75 percent cocks from these pigeons. Uh, we don't understand how nature works, but my theory, and I think which is fairly true in a lot of animals. If a population gets a little too inbred, the genetics get too tight, they start producing more of one sex. To me, it would make more sense to produce more of the male sex. Males are probably more likely to venture off and look for mates. If they leave the colony and go to another population or look for mates somewhere else, it makes sense that they will you know, find some genetics that they're not closely related to. So with me, the Van Reed pigeons have been close forever. They're all related and I get such a high percentage of cocks. And I usually sell them in pairs and right now I'm almost all cocks left at the end of the season. and I've only sold pairs so far. It's amazing, but we don't understand a lot of about my, a lot to do with mother nature and how it works. But my theory is, and I think it's actually more of a fact that when a population gets too inbred or inbred where there's not a lot of variation within the pigeons, one sex is produced and which forces a cross, which forces a sex to venture off to find mates. It can no longer mate within its population. Again, this is a theory, but I think again, it is fact that if you inbreed and inbreed and inbreed for many, many years, closely related pigeons, you'll find that you'll start producing more of one sex. And uh, for me, with the Van Reed pigeons, it's more cocks. Hope you liked the video. If you like, please like the video, subscribe. I'll keep them coming. Just something to think about, something I've witnessed in my 50 years. And I hope all is well. Today is October 20th, 2022 and I will keep the videos coming. Thank you.